What's up, y'all? How you doing? It's your boy, Gerald. It's the 10th of February, 2015. How's everybody doing? Doing all right? It is nice and crisp here in Virginia Beach, Virginia. But guess what? It's a new day. Another day that you can work on self so you can be the best you. So I know I've been putting videos out as of late, and I didn't want to miss this opportunity. Um, I got a, I got a, a message to me through my YouTube channel, and this guy, and I'm gonna paraphrase it. This guy was, you know, he had someone special in his life. And um, he's actually struggling on trying to find the perfect gift for uh, Valentine's Day. And uh, he wants to find that one thing that will exemplify their connection. So after I read it, you know, you know I me, mean? I try to stay, I'm always grounded. Uh, through prayer and I wanted to make sure that when I responded back not only did it come from my spirit but it would give that person the understanding that they needed because anytime someone's willing to be vulnerable to express how they feel they deserve that in return so I sat down and I responded to this person and I thought that well you know what this is something that's, that's going to continue to go on to the end of time, you know. Feb, you know, February 14th comes around every year and will continue until they deem it not a day of celebration. So, I don't know if you're in this situation, but maybe it is, maybe you're not. But it should validate where you are. So... You're burning gas, you, you're at your wit's end, and you're trying to figure out what is it that I could give this person of significance so that they know that not only that they're meant to be in your life, but you wish to grow with them. So after I prayed, because you know that Holy Spirit is about truth, right? And this is what I found. So, you want to give the ultimate gift. How about this? See, the greatest gift that you're going to ever give to that person of significance in your life is not found in the stores. No, you won't find that. Because if you tried to find it, there would be no amount of money that could equate to the value. Because, see, it's priceless. I know some of you say, well, Gerald, I know you're going to say it's your time. That has something to do with it. It does. But the greatest gift that you're going to ever give someone is a gift of transparency. That's right. See, because when you make a declaration with yourself to live a transparent life, guess what happens? It forces you to speak your truth because you are now removing the burdens, the blocks, the obstacles, and allowing clarity to come into your life. And everybody knows that is in a relationship, a legitimate relationship, it's forged off of the three things. It's forged off of, yes, time. But it's also forged by proper communication. 
Because see, without communication, it can't grow. That is like the soil. That's the foundation that that relationship is built off of. But there's more. Because yes, it must be fortified by love. And see, that is one of the problems we have as a society. For some reason, society has convinced us in some degree in our lives that to express love, it is a sign of weakness. Oh, it's okay to show by action, by way of intimacy. That's, that's like the sprinkle on the Sunday. But see, guess what? What is intimacy without love connected to it? It has no volume. It's just something to do. You're, you're actually losing time. And all that does is set you up for, unfortunately, another thing that you have to resolve in yourself because now your worth, the value of what makes you you, is caused to be placed in review. You start to second guess yourself, not only for yourself, but the company that you keep. But that's okay though, because look at it, think of it this way. Every morning, every day, every night is an opportunity for you to discover something different about you. Because see, listen, there are over 7.5 billion people on this planet. But guess what? You're one of them. And you're unique. There's only one you. There will only be just one you. So it should be very important to not squatter your time. To not allow those people to distract you from not seeing the value of your existence. Now granted, I say this to you all my, my kings and queens, especially you my queens. See, if you do not take the time to reflect on the things that you've chosen to do, the things that you choose to engage in, if you don't allow to have that position of foreseeing things, you will never get the message. You will never gain the insight of the experience. It has no value. Well, guess what? You're priceless. Now, I know somebody's saying, well, Gerald, I can't walk into my place or her place with a bow that says transparency because she's not going to want to accept that. Okay, I understand that. Well, let me put this in your, let me put this right back at you. February 14th is one day, right? Shouldn't that be the Sunday? That shouldn't that be the cherry on the Sunday? Because guess what? There are 364 more days connected so this should be this should be a practice that you're already doing so I know some of you guys you're saying well Gerald yeah man but I'm, I'm not built like that you know I, I'm not I wasn't raised that way because you know through my life I was always taught to keep your feelings to yourself well how's that working out how's that working out Maybe you are the person that is supposed to break the cycle in your family tree. My kings, you didn't get that name for nothing. Your legacy is connected to that. So guess what? It is very important that you simplify that. I know some of y'all may be saying, well, you know, Gerald, that's all fine and dandy. But if he don't come in here with something toting in his hand, I'm going to be pissed off. Okay. All right. Well, let me ask you this. Let's go back to that time. What about that time that he invests in you? What about that? What about the, the things of 